Hi there, what's going on traders? I hope you guys are doing great today. This video is about US stock trading in Canada in particular. However, it will be providing a lot of information regarding trading US stocks, particularly information about the broker Interactive Brokers. I do want to inform you that this video is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. Nobody paid me to make this video. On this YouTube channel in particular, there are a lot of video tutorials regarding the Interactive Brokers trading platform and other trading platforms. So we're going to talk about things like zero commission trading and the certain options that Canadian traders have and a lot of the information that you might have previously heard on the internet I'm going to sort of debunk some of the myths regarding certain brokerages and let's get to it so if you do enjoy this content remember to leave a like subscribe on the channel so the first thing I would like to inform you of is that this particular page I am on right now is a landing page for the comparison of US stock trading costs for Canadian residents if you want to get to this page it's basically the first link in my description so click there so you can follow along the video as we go through this the first thing I want to cover in this video is regarding why do people trade US stocks or US equities well it's actually a pretty simple question to answer the US stock market trades the most volume out of any other stock market in the entire world it trades billions maybe even trillions of dollars per day. US stocks are traded by long-term investors, short-term speculators, and basically everybody and their grandma trades US stocks. This website is Interactive Brokers website. However, they say it here that the rates that they show in this table are the rates that have been published on these brokers websites as of January 31st, 2022 for deals on US stocks. Okay, let's look at the first example here. US Stock Commission, for example, Interactive Brokers rate for US stock trading per share. In this case is 0.0035 per share, which is actually somewhere around 33% of a penny per share. And obviously there's also a minimum trade commission, which we'll cover later in the video here. But next to here, you can see that there's a footnote number six. What that means is you need to scroll down the page Till you find the notes and disclaimers here. Bring down this drop down menu, go to number six, IBKR's tiered stock commissions, 35% of a penny per share, minimum commission of 35 cents per trade. Other provider stock commissions are usually set at a dollar amount per trade basis. And they do give you some more information about their FX conversion as well. So you can go on this page, read through some of these fine prints and do your own research because at the end of the day, remember, not every broker is for every client. In this video, we're gonna debunk some of the popular myths that you might hear on YouTube of people saying, you know, Interactive Brokers is only for sophisticated investors and it's not for the average everyday investor. Well, actually that's changed now because Interactive Brokers now has a web-based platform that I would say is far superior to all of these other brokers right here. I'm saying that because I do not like the fact that these brokers charge an enormous amount of money per trade. I'm being honest and I'm speaking for my fellow Canadians right here. I do not want to pay $5 every time I enter a trade. I do not. And if you do, then please tell me why you do. Let's go on now and talk about commissions. I'm going to make references to a few other brokers like the National Bank Direct Brokerage recently announced that they are offering US stock free trading, free trading commissions, similar to the likes of Robinhood and other USD brokerages that have done in the last two years. So let's go on to their website now. We need to read into the fine print here, guys, because I want you guys to understand what it means to have zero commissions. This is quite a deep rabbit hole and I'm not gonna go through every detail. One thing you need to know is that payment for order flow, research payment for order flow, is currently, at the moment I make this video, illegal in Canada. However, there's a big however here. It's that when a broker charges zero commissions, what they're doing is they're reserving the right to execute the trade however they wanna execute it, basically. And if you read through this fine print right here on the National Bank Brokerage site, if you go to pricing and then commissions, then scroll down just a little bit until we get to the fine print, we need to click on the additional notes on commissions and transactions. This is really what I wanna highlight right here, which is that there may be situations in which National Bank Direct Brokerage will receive fees or payments from third parties on transactions it executes. Such fees and payments will not accrue to the client's account and may be considered as part of National Bank Brokerage's routing decision-making process. So basically what you need to know about this zero commission model is that your broker is reserving the right to execute your order in any way that it sees fit. So it is putting itself before its clients in a way. 
Um, the opposite of that would be using a direct routing broker or a smart routing broker like Interactive Brokers. So for example, if you do have a relationship with a specific exchange to trade US stocks or US options, or you know already that certain exchanges offer rebates on certain fees, then you can route your orders directly there all the time. Um, whereas if you're trading with this broker, for example, they offer you no fees, but there also is not a guarantee that your order will fill because remember the broker is putting its arse before yours. So, you know, I can't really tell you if this is going to be a better or worse experience. You would simply have to try it for yourself. All right, now we'll move on and talk about a trading commission example using interactive brokers. Let's go over to the pricing page on their website. So we'll select pricing, then commissions. And I watched another YouTube video where the guy was showing this and he was totally confused about what was going on. So I do want to shed some light onto this. There are two commission structures, tiered or fixed. Generally speaking, if you trade a very high amount of shares and by very high, I mean hundreds of thousands of shares. And let's be honest, the majority of you watching this do not trade that much volume. You will set your commission most probably to the tiered commission pricing. So let's select this view pricing structure. Let's be honest, if you're a member of an exchange or if you're a designated market maker, these guys are paying basically nothing to execute trades. So as a retail trader, this is considered low. You're paying a minimum of 35 cents US dollars per order that trades and the maximum commission you will pay on any particular trade is 1% of the trade value. And here it gives you a per share quote. In this scenario, it's 35% of a penny per share. So let's do 0 0.0035 times 100 shares. If you bought 100 shares, any amount of shares less than 100, you would still pay a commission of 35 cents per trade. Let's say you bought a thousand shares, 0 0.0035 times 1,000. Now, your total commission on this trade would be $3.05. Some people on YouTube say that if you trade a couple of hundred to a couple of thousand, then they can get away with paying those big fixed fees like $5 a trade for Quest Trade or even $10 a trade for TD Direct Investing. But I don't buy it, guys. Interactive Brokers has the lowest trading commission for Canadians, okay? Now, probably in the United States, if you live there, there's other options that you can compete with that can probably get you even lower rates. A lot of those brokers don't support Canada. The reason for that is because in order to allow US stock trading to Canadians, they have to go through so many regulatory issues and that's the next thing I just want to say is that no matter which broker you trade with here, all of these brokers are totally regulated and your funds are going to be safe here. Um, you know, there, of course, there might be some real fine print in the case of like a crazy black swan event, like if the broker just, you know, explodes, which is highly, highly unlikely. I mean, we're talking about big names here, guys, interactive brokers, not a small time broker right here. Okay. All right. So that is our example for US stock trading. If we do scroll down this page, you will also see Canadian stock trading tiered commissions. And just as an example here, we have a minimum commission per order of $1. I can confirm this because I do trade on the Toronto Stock Exchange from time to time. And you know, you might buy, you know, 30, 50, 100 shares, the minimum commission you're going to pay here is $1 Canadian every time you place a trade. The maximum per order in this scenario is half a percent of the trade value. So if you do start trading larger amounts of shares, you will notice that the commission you pay will not go higher by very much. So in this case, the commission per share here for Canadian stocks is just about one penny. Now let's do a calculation here if we were to buy 1000 shares of a stock. So let's do 0 0.008 times 1000. And that would mean our commission paid on this trade would be a total of $8. If we have not already hit the cap of half a percent of the trade value in total. Um, so that will depend on the value of the trade. And again, if you do find yourself on this page, remember that there are little bullet points here. For example, if we look at volume per month, we see a little number two and a little number seven right there. Remember to scroll down to the bottom of this page to read those fine prints. The fine prints are always very important. Let's talk about maintenance fees, guys. If you like paying money out of your account just to keep an account open, comment down below. I wanna come to your house and have a conversation with you, friend. Nobody should like maintenance fees, okay? I used to have an account with TD Direct Investing. These guys charge you a maintenance fee of $25 a quarter. Guys, interest rates are practically at zero right now. And I don't know, maybe you're watching this in the future, but 
Right now, if you have cash in an account, that cash is already not generating you a return. In fact, it's probably generating a negative return due to inflation. So let's say you have cash in your account, not only is it generating you a negative return, but these guys are also taking $25 out of your account just for nothing, just for maintenance. Um, when in reality, there's other brokers out there that do not charge maintenance fees. For example, Interactive Brokers in the year 2020 or 2021, they actually removed all account minimums. There is no inactivity fees whatsoever. So, you know, you could buy a stock today and come back in a year and they will not have charged you anything because there is no inactivity fees with Interactive Brokers. The other thing is, of course, going back to commissions, every time you trade with these guys, they charge you $10, TD that is. Every time you trade with Quest Trade, they charge you $5. So let's say you only made two trades, right? Because you have to make three trades if you have TD Direct Investing to waive that quarterly fee. So let's say you only made two trades. You bought GME and you bought AMC and your diamond hands in them, baby. So you paid $20 in commissions, plus you paid the quarterly fee. So you paid $45, guys. That's like a couple of rounds of beers for you and your friends on a night out. You know what? I don't want to give that money to TD, so I choose to keep my account with Interactive Brokers. It's simple as that, all right? All right, the next part of this thing is we're going to talk about what everybody says about Interactive Brokers. They say Interactive Brokers is for sophisticated investors or active traders. I don't care how sophisticated you guys are. At the end of the day, you get a margin call. It doesn't matter who the hell you are. You will still get a margin call when you go all in and be a diamond hands NFT boy. Ha 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 ha, wow. So what I'm trying to say is that, you know, if you have the opportunity to save yourself some money at the end of the year, you might as well do that. So now let's talk about, you know, the trading tools, trading platforms, all that stuff. A lot of people used to complain about Interactive Brokers UI. Well, actually, they just came out with a web-based platform that is, I would say, you know, just as easy to use as the other ones like the Quest Trade and the TD and whatnot. And I also have a video that covers that platform. I'll put the link for it down below. Now, that being said, at one point in history, Interactive Brokers did cater mostly to higher net worth individuals because they used to have a very high account minimum of something like $10,000. In recent years, they started catering to smaller account trading. And now you can basically keep money in your account without any inactivity fees. This platform is not harder to work with than any other of these platforms. At the end of the day, guys, when you trade in the markets, you're putting on your own risk when you buy that stock and hodl like an NFT boy. So basically, guys, that's going to cover it for this particular video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. And if you do have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.